Hello guys, so how to use the vernier caliper? So this is your vernier caliper. There is the main scale here. The, there is an inches scale here above. There is a millimeter scale here. So the main scale, the vernier scale. Okay, this is called the vernier scale. There's also a depth gauge here, so if you're going to measure, it is used to measure the the, the depth of a, a certain object, for example, yeah. so yeah, depth scale. So if this is moving, this is how you're going to read the scale, okay? So how do we measure, how do we use the micrometer caliper? So let's say you want to measure the width of the thumb, no? So can you do Napaka erroneous no so ayan ganyan ganyan. You can lock it. Ang hirap no. Ganyan again. You can lock it here. Okay? Oops. Na move. Pero anyway, just for 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 an example. So the way to read it is read the main scale first. The main scale says that it's 10 millimeter. By the way, this is in millimeter. 10 millimeter. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So on the main scale, it is 19, 19 point something something millimeter. Now for the remaining decimal, you are going to read it from the Vernier scale. So how do we find the reading? Okay. You can find the reading on the decimal by looking at a line on the Vernier scale that perfectly coincides with any of the line on the main scale. Now, is this a line? No. 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 Oops. Closer. Oops. Eh, not perfectly, but look at that. This is perfectly a line. So this represents every line represent 0.05. 0 0.05, 1, 0 0.05, point, uh, 1, 0 0.0, 0 0.05, another 1.0, that's a decimal. So we look at this point 0.5. So the decimal reading plus 0 0.50 millimeter. So you're going to add them together, it's 19.5 millimeter so in a way that's the width of my thumb for an example now our experiment is about how to determine the diameter of this and later on the density so let's measure the diameter of this using a vernier scale so make sure it's in the middle the diameter no you can unlock this you can push it is it in the middle okay so more or less then you can lock it and then you're ready to measure Okay, for our trial one, it says 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It is exactly at 19. Now, how do you know if it is at exact main scale line? You can verify it. The 10 should also coincide. So it's perfectly coincide. It's 19.00. For our trial one, it's 19.00. Zero, zero millimeter you can do another trial let's say trial number two I will lock it so what's the reading it's uh, it doesn't perfectly align well but I'm perfect not in perfect yeah I think it's also 19 19.00 let me try again perhaps at different sides still 19 let's try again 19 Tama naman. let's measure this so we have another two readings that are 19.00 19.00 millimeter and this one is it seems to be not perfectly aligned but uh, we'll see 
19 point something. So look for a line that perfectly coincides. Parang ito guys, oh. Between 0 and 2. So 19.05. So for my trial number 5, it's 19.00 plus 0 0.05. 19.05. So for my trial number 5, 19.05. Okay? So perhaps we can do another trial. Look. Oops, now look siya. So this one is hindi siya umabot ng 19. So 18 siya. So we can write 18.00 plus kung saan nag perfectly coincides. No. I think sa 9. Sa point 0.9. Point nine. Plus 0 0.90. So now it's 18.90 millimeters. So our trial number 6 is 18.90 millimeter. Okay, so you can have another trial. Okay. I'm getting used to it already. So 19 cha. I'll try again. 18 18.85. 18.85. Trial number 9, 18.95, oops, and for my last trial, let me try that again, 18.95 millimeter, so that's how you measure a dimension using a vernier caliper. So add the main scale and add the the vernier scale. Considering the least count, ito yung kaya niyang measure yung pinakamaliit na kaya niyang measure yung. Every line represents 0 0.05. So this is uh, 0.1 millimeter, 0.2. So this is 0.25 millimeter and so on. Okay, so that's all for vernier caliper.